Here, no creatures fear people. In their extreme isolation, they have never encountered a two-legged animal that poses a threat. They are quite Timanaki. <laughs> Many birds follow the lifestyle normally associated with rabbits, deer, and mice. There are giants here, too. Eleven species of moa patrol the island. The largest of these birds, the giant moa, is the tallest bird ever to walk the earth. It's New Zealand's equivalent of a giraffe. It won't take long for the Maori to discover that the land they've colonized is a land of naive animals. Isolation has left these creatures ill-prepared for the refined and deadly skills of the human hunter. The Maori develop a taste for one particular animal, the giant moa, a monster bird that lays an egg a hundred times bigger than a hen's. This great bird also yields succulent drumsticks the size of a cow's leg. Unlike the animals that evolved with man in Africa, the moa has no innate fear of people. They are sitting ducks. The birds are expertly prepared and cooked in underground ovens, but only the upper third of moa legs are eaten. The remainder of the carcass is dumped on giant rubbish heaps or fed to the burgeoning population of feral dogs. In a large settlement like this, 40 people will consume 10,000 moa in only 20 years. That's 10 birds a week. Mm -hmm. 
Perhaps this is the Garden of Eden after all. But they are in fact creating a problem for themselves. The mower can only lay one egg a year, and each chick takes seven years to reach sexual maturity. The birds simply can't breed fast enough to keep pace with the Maori's intensive hunting. They are doomed to extinction. Moa bones lie in shallow graves. Half a million will be butchered and 11 species wiped out in just over a hundred years. The world will lose one of its most extraordinary animals. In the Moa's wake, the giant Haast Eagle will also vanish, incapable of surviving once its main food supply, the mower, has gone.